The help desk system is what you're going to use anytime you have any kind of issue with technology. So to get to the help desk system, you're going to go to helpdesk.ebrschools.org. And you want to make sure that you sign in with your EBR username and password. There is a guest section on the help desk that you can use without signing in. However, signing in has a few different benefits. One of the benefits is you can have some information saved and preloaded here on your ticket so that you don't have to input the same thing every time you do a ticket. For example, if you are a teacher and you have one room, you can update your room to be a certain room number so that every ticket you put in, it will have a room number attached to it. Of course, it will also have your name and email address and you can add a phone number if you want to, but you absolutely don't have to. Another benefit of signing in is that you're able to view all of your tickets. So clicking this button will bring you to a page that will show all the tickets you've submitted so that you can kind of keep track of progress on different things that you have input into the help desk system. So the other thing here is your school slash site. So this does work based off of the internet that you're currently connected to. So let's say you're at a PD on a different campus, but then you remember that you want to put in a ticket for your computer back at your classroom. Just make sure that you check this to make sure it is indeed the place that you are currently at. And then we have all of our different categories. So most of them are pretty self-explanatory, but I will just go through and give you a quick rundown. So Chromebook, of course, is going to be for our student devices, unless you have a teacher Chromebook. Desktop and laptop is going to be for any issues you have with your workstation computers. Smartboard is going to be any issues with your interactive whiteboards. EdTech is going to go to our team, and that's going to be any issues with Clever or any type of training requests that you might want to put in there. Internet filter is for if there is a website that students are accessing that you believe that should be blocked, you can put that there on internet filter. And reversely, if there is a website that you would think that should not be blocked, that is, you can put that request there as well. Um, login and security, pretty obvious. Um, network would be internet. Printer could be an issue with your printer, and it could also just be a request for someone to come connect your printer for you. Quote requests, security system, and telephone services are mostly going to be used by administration and clerks. Those are things that kind of deal with the school as a whole. And then software and applications, if you have any issues with using things on the computer. And then we do have this miscellaneous category here. However, I would highly suggest to avoid using this category as much as possible. Really try to hone in on a specific category just because the miscellaneous category tends to kind of get lost among all the other tickets in the help desk system. So if you put something in under miscellaneous, it can take a lot longer for your ticket to be reviewed. So once you've selected a category, um, depending on what category you selected, it's going to ask for different information. So for a desktop, it's going to ask for my room number, which of course, if I have that pre-saved, it will be populated here. If you're able to put the serial number or the barcode, you definitely can. But the most important part of any ticket is going to be the problem description. So when you're submitting a help desk ticket, you want to be as specific and detailed as possible. This is really going to help get your ticket answered in a more timely manner. So just think about it this way. You have a tech coming to a school with like 20 tickets. And one of them just says, my computer is not working. Or my computer is being crazy. And then another ticket says, hi, every time I log into my computer, when I click on this icon, I get this error message. Or this thing happens. Which of those tickets is going to be easier to answer? Obviously, the one that's more detailed is going to be a lot easier. And so the tech is going to be more inclined to deal with that issue first. Also, there are some issues that may be able to be fixed without a tech even having to come. So having those details in there can really help you get your ticket answered faster. Now, some categories aren't going to ask for all of this information. For example, if you're having a network issue, that's just going to ask for a description. So as you can see, that is the most important part of every ticket. So once you submit your ticket, you will be able to, of course, view it under all of your tickets. And because your email is attached to it, you will get an email that your ticket has been submitted 
and any updates that are done to that ticket, you will get notified of that as well. So if a tech responds to it, asking for additional information, or if they come and work on it, all of that will be sent to you through email. So that is a quick rundown of the help desk system. I hope you found that helpful and don't forget to use it anytime you have any kind of tech issue.